This man had Kevin Durant join his team and made Kevin Durant the second option. That, I listen. That's I was gonna ask you because I knew we both had Devin Booker one. What is the argument against Devin Booker being Kev, being better than Kevin Durant right now? Like, like just I, if I was ranking players, like is D book better than KD? I'm listen. I'm not, and I'm not saying that he is. I'm just genuinely just bringing up the question. It's like the last couple times we've seen Kevin Durant, he got boxed by Boston. Had a very inefficient series. Was just mm-hmm. I had a flat out just bad series. You know what I mean? Then he goes to Phoenix, and it's like Devin Booker is out here lighting the world on fire. And Kevin Durant has had some good games, but it wasn't efficient. It just wasn't efficient. It's not it what w- we expected from it, him. Yeah, like he didn't. Ha- I wouldn't say he had a great series. You know what I mean? Like the mm-hmm. numbers, the numbers ended up being good, but I feel like he took so many shots. It's like eventually, yeah, some of them is gonna fall. So it's like. I mean, I guess you can say the defense kind of focused more on KD cause, just because he's Kevin Durant. But it's like, bro, Devin Booker seems like the one over there. That's just from what I'm seeing. That is what my eyes are telling me. Devin Booker seems like the number one in Phoenix. Look, this is – some of it has to just do with KD as a player. Like, KD might really be one of the most plug-and-play type of players we've ever seen like what what team could you not put Kevin Durant on you have to be like I don't know if he would fit or like well with this There's guy none. or this line none of them he can do everything on the offensive side of the ball you would want like he fits into any type of system so I think that might play a little bit of a role into it but like when you think about he just was the number one option on a team that had Kyrie Irving and James Harden on it and then he went to Phoenix and when the chips are on the table in the playoffs, this man, Devin Booker, went 20 for 25 from the field, put up 47 points and nine assists. Like, bro. And then followed that up the next game on a night where Jokic is doing everything he can to try to get one in Phoenix, have 53 um Devin Booker in that game they they him and KD both put up 36 points but he went in this game he shot 78 percent from the field 75 percent from three and in the game that he put up 47 points he shot let me pull this up he shot 80 percent from the field and 62 percent from three those Gener- are not real. Those are not real stat lines, bro. That's too generational K. heater, like generational hot streak. Like that, 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 it just didn't make sense. And watching it too, it's like he takes tough shot. Like he's a tough shot maker. It's not like he's hitting just open looks. He is shooting contested middies, fall away middies. He's hitting contested threes. He's hit everything. Every he's throwing the whole bag mm-hmm. at you, and he's knocking all these shots down. It's like, bro, it was insane to watch. And KD is just like, bro, go. Like, right. you, you got it, go. Like, he's deferring to this guy. Mm-hmm. You seen what Bradley Beal said when he on his introductory press conference? This is, like, this is book nation. Mm-hmm. He's been in Phoenix this whole time. He stayed 10 toes down throughout all the bad, throughout him putting up 70 in the Boston Garden when his team was losing – and the Celtics players are clowning him because they're losing on the scoreboard. But he is like, they can't guard him. He's just mm-hmm. like baby Devin Booker. He's like 19, dropping 70 in an NBA game. Yeah. Um, and so, like I said, to see that he was able to, or that they were able to bring in KD and just like, he just like went even harder. <laughs> yeah. Like, that yeah. <laughs> is so telling of his ability as a scorer. And I want to ask you, do you think he's the closest thing we have right now offensively to Kobe? The closest thing? I'd say so, yeah. If okay. you're talking about just his game-wise, like how he's scoring, right. I'd say yeah because majority of his points come from the mid-range. Um, he works out of the post a little bit. Obviously, it's not going to be his forward. is isn't going to be as like refined and great as Kobe. Yeah. But 
Yeah, I, I'd say so. He's like a modern day version because he takes obviously he's gonna take a little bit more threes just because of the way the NBA play is played mm-hmm. now. But I feel like if Kobe played now, he kind of would play like that as well. Like he just it'd just be normal to take a little bit more threes than he did back when he played. So his game, I think it 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 resembles Kobe the most out of everyone, strictly just on the offensive end. So yeah, I'd say him. I say he's up there. The other person you automatically think of is Tatum, but I think Tatum takes yeah. a lot of threes. I don't think – his – Devin Booker's game is – He loved that side step. He loved that side step three, bro. He loves to step to the left, he's going to pull it. But, mm-hmm. nah, Devin Booker's game more so resembles Kobe than I'd say a, a guy like Tatum. Yeah, I uh, – that, like, logically, if you want to go through how you rank players, like, that should solidify enough why he is just the number – player um or number one shooting guard in the league like for being able to say Kevin Durant yo you can take a back seat tonight is there's not many players that have probably ever played the game of basketball that can do something like that I, I'm just like I mean just being honest it's just like bro if Kevin Durant like if his name wasn't Kevin Durant like and you just go based off of re, like recent like the past couple of years it's like I just feel like people would say that Devin Booker is clearly the number one over there. But the fact that it is Kevin Durant, you're always obviously you're always going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And rightfully mm-hmm. so. Like you're always going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's going to be tough to get to that point. It's even mm-hmm. hard to be like one, two, because you really want to be like one A, one B type of situation. Exactly. But it's like I think that is what I'm going to be most that's what I'm going to be closely watching this upcoming season. Like Listen, when the game is on the line and when it really comes down to it, like, whose team is this really? Like, I, I think just off personality alone, I think Devin Booker is going to take it. But I'm curious to see if Kevin Durant just kind of, like, defers to him or is like, no. Like, what's his, his famous line? I'm Kevin Durant. Like, if he actually says, no, I'm the best player on this team. I know this is technically your team, but it's like when push comes to shove, I'm the best player on this team. So I'm a, I'm going to be watching that real, real closely this upcoming season. Yeah, I think – To answer your question earlier, trying to think about putting Devin Booker ahead of KD is like, it's a wild thought in my head. But it's like you said, it's a lot about, thinking about Kevin Durant as a player in totality is like, how can I put Devin Booker ahead of that? But if I'm thinking like right, right now, I can see the argument. I I, I can see the argument. I don't know if I can, I can buy into it, but I can see it, and look, the, the playoff series against Denver, even against the, the Clippers too, like both of those series showed a lot about Devin Booker and where his game is at right now. Um, and put it this way too, it's like, would it even really be a bad thing? It's like, bro, we just talked about it all the time. Dev, how old is Devin Booker? He's 27. That's you're That's reaching crazy. that. crazy. You're, bro, these NBA players are coming in way too young. All right. You see, bro, it's crazy. But it's like, if that's your prime, that means he's there. Kevin Durant is what? About to be like 34, 35. Yeah. It's like, they're going in different directions. I mean, I'm not going to say he's going to fall off, but it would just no, make I, sense. Yeah. It's yeah. not cra- it's like, it sounds crazy, but when you stop, when people stop looking at it from a standpoint of like, these athletes are just going to be at their peaks forever. It could it could it could make more sense as to how that would become more of a thing, Kevin or Kevin Durant being not as good as Devin Booker right now. Not saying it is, but just you know, it could be a possibility this upcoming season. 